Rushing into Sentinel's quarters, Jetstorm and Jetfire skidded to a halt, failing to notice Sentinel locking the door, slowly, then hiding the key in a drawer. Only when he spoke, did they respond? Morning boss bot sir, what is we doing today? The elite guard officier smiled at them, causing Jetfire to shiver. It was a hungry smile, the one a snake will give a mouse before turning it into a meal. Whoa, nothing, just the two of you helping me out. Jetstorm and Jetfire looked at each other nervous. Jetfire, please take your servos and place them into my mouth. But before that, suddenly, he jumped. Onto Jetstorm, tying the twin into a chair using stasis cuffs, he commanded the fiery jet twin to obey his order. Puzzled but willing to do what his hero wanted, the youngster placed both servos into Sentinel's mouth. Two lady realized his commander's intent and struggled. The prime smirked, grabbed the bot in both servos, lifting Jetfire up and gulping. Gulp, gulp. Gulp gulp, brother, I is needing serious help. Help, you is holding on, I is trying to break free. Hurry, bossbo. Ulp, jetfire. Ulp, gulp, 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 gulp. By now, the ravenous sentinel had pretty much reached Jetfire's hips, so he only needed to slurp up the long, skinny, flailing legs of the Autobot jet. Slurp. Brother, I will break and warn others. I will dot, help. Sentinel looked at the blue jet, who was looking pale and scared to death. Jetstorm then started to cry distressed and frightened so Sentinel decided to offer some assurance to the distressed twin. Gently, he cupped Jetstorm's faceplates, gave them a soft lick, then placed his head onto the enormous gorge that formed when the young prime swallowed Jetfire. Hearing his twin, alive and well, coupled with soft soothing rubs and murmurs from the boss, calm Jetstorm, why do I need you? Well, it involves both of you helping me cope with my craving. Relacing the young one, Sentinel said. Well, well, Bossbot, is you wanting full no? Jetstorm meekly smiled. All right, heads or feet? Feet, Sentinel smiled. This was going to be easy. He gurp, excuse me. Prowl entered the Prime's headquarters. Sentinel was nursing a huge bulge that wobbled and jiggled from the Jetwinses playing around. Groaning, Sentinel pulled a face, trying to reassert his authority. Stop playing soccer with my bladder, or I will be forced to, oof. Erp, 